Welcome to Beyond Air the official instructional series from the Ohio Media School. Whether you're dreaming of the spotlight or mastering the craft behind it, we're here to help you level up your skills. Welcome back to Beyond Air your Ohio Media School source for the latest in video production tips and tricks. I'm Mick, and today we're digging into Adobe Premiere Pro's brand new Easy Caption Translation feature. Whether you're subtitling for global audiences or adding multilingual captions, this tool makes it quick, easy, and painless. Let's dive in. Traditionally, translating captions meant exporting SRT files, uploading them to an external service, waiting for the results, then re-importing, and hoping the timing stayed intact. With Easy Captions Translation, Premiere Pro handles everything in-app. Detect, translate, and resync all without leaving your timeline. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop our project file in our sequence to caption. I'm going to change my sequence settings and make sure I put in the right clip. Now I'm going to go into our little workspace tab at the top right, and I'm going to go down to captions and graphics. Left click. And now you'll see our workspace has changed slightly. Go into your text tab to access all of your new and fun tools for your captioning software. The first time you do this, it's going to ask you if you want to auto set up your captioning when you import a project. This is personal preference. I don't tend to do it as not every project I do needs captioning, and I don't find it that strenuous to go in and do it myself. Plus, it's one less thing to have to worry about at the beginning of your edit in terms of just stuff being in the way. From there, we're going to go in and we're going to go hit transcript as you can only make captions once you have a transcript available. And now this is a pretty painless process. So we're going to go over to our transcript tab and hit create transcript. And now we're just going to let this finish. It doesn't take too long. If you have a longer project, like say a 90 minute movie, you, you might be here for a minute, but with a powerful enough computer, it doesn't take that long at all. And boom, once you have your transcript done, you can go in and take a look. If you have to, you can double click on any of these to go edit, but for now, these all look good. So I'm gonna move on and create captioning. When you go to create your captions, you have a bunch of different options of different presets. I tend to just leave mine on your kind of default one that shows up and you can go in and do advanced options. Like if you want single line, increase spacing. Some of this could be good for eleg uh, legibility, say if you work as an ID or if you work in any kind of learning design. All right, and now let's get into the meat of this lesson by going in and clicking our little icon here. It, to me, it looks like a Chinese character and an A kind of merged together. So when you go in and click on that, that's gonna let you go and select different languages to translate this into. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna click our source, make sure that's set to English. And I'm gonna choose German and Spanish because I speak a little bit of both. So that'll probably help me tell if anything's off for the sake of our lesson. Scroll, 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 there's Spanish, and hit translate. And again, you have some advanced options. Now, as you'll see, this created two other layers right above our caption layer. And if you wanna go in and change these for your own viewing purposes, you can go in and hit our little eyeball friends and switch them out just to make sure the timing is good. And I'm just watching through, making sure I'm happy with everything. Now, assuming there are no issues here, you can actually go ahead and export, which we'll get into here in just a little second. So I'm gonna go and hit my export tab. And now if you scroll down, you'll actually see that you have a captions list where you can go in and you can either burn the captions into your video, in which case they'll just be hard coded. Or if you're sending this to a distributor, you can actually put the files in a separate folder and send them that way. It really just depends on your workflow. Typically, the person you're sending these to will let you know what they want. If you're just uploading to YouTube in a bunch of languages, it might be better just to burn it in, for example, but I'll leave that up to your discretion. Now I'm just gonna choose where I save and hit export. Well, guys, I hope that helps, and that's all I have for this lesson. See you next time for Beyond Air 2.
was all a mess In a commercial telling me to be my best Ohio Media School It sounded so cool I can learn audio and video And be a DJ on the radio Now I get to do what I love And make some money too While working at the news